welcome, 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 welcome to Sex on the Bridge. Yes, with me, Dance or Queen Carly. And you know, as always, it's on the bridge 99 FM. So please tune in and you can watch up when it's that time to the show 876 551 5782. But I'll get down into all of that. But tonight, yes, tonight we'll be discussing is it big enough for the ride? Or is it all about the size? Well, we'll get to hear from the experts and the ones who know. But firstly, SOB is a show with adult content rating everything. So please, suitable for audience 18 and over. So if you're not going to bed, if you're underage. But the adults, let's get comfy and have some fun. You could probably take off your clothes, you know. We, we don't mind. All right. So we're going to have a great time. And of course, in studio with me is my very good friend, trust me, from Pat It to Know. Yeah, Ma, come with her and she's coming with me. Not literally, guys, please. Pam Pote. Yes, dance all entertaining, and of course, lover of the big D. And I also have in the bridge studio with me, Marlon. Marlon, ooh, entrepreneur, owner of the Divine Men and Big D, as he has been told by his counterparts, female counterparts. <laughs> so we're going to have a ball, guys. We're going to learn a lot. And who knows? Call in and let us know if we're wrong or right. And I'll also have an a expert later to tell us, does size matter? Should it matter? Will it matter? But let's just enjoy yourself and have some fun so to my immediate right right now i have Papa Day. <laughs> good night i know i know this is a great tuesday night where you'd probably be having some fun no <laughs> me yeah fun what would you oh, be doing oh. on a tuesday night some sometimes shooter are uh, with my kids like oh i just leave from a setup to come here oh wow you know Somebody died? Yeah, one of my, my friend aunt. Okay, I well, was there all supporting. Right. But, all right, yeah. that's all good. Mm -hmm. And of course, Marlon. Hey, what's you going know? on? What's going on? What's going on, everyone? It has been said <laughs> over and over just once. <laughs> you know, several times. Oh. Yeah, man. Or all the time or just several times? Well, you don't know. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> That, what has um, been said though? What has been said? That I, I, I carry a beyond average package, yeah. What is average though? What 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 well, what a girl would have said to you that made you think you're bigger than a regular? Well based, based on standard, based on research and stuff like that, them say six inches is average. Um six inches for a meal is average, you know, and we're well beyond that. No, I thought they said seven. Is it seven? Well, yes. I think six. I beg to differ. I, I don't know. Whatever it All is. All right, whatever size. But, but, but I'm nowhere in that category. So based on that, I believe, you know? Yeah. This look like mile and the far. <laughs> <laughs> mm. what, what's, what's, what's an average size that you'd think, you know? You go with six as an average size? Yeah, six. That's or even five and a half. That's an average size? No, mm. not what they're saying for you. That's an average size? Yeah, man. But that, yeah, bro, let me tell you. Five and a half, six. Mm. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. But but why do you prefer the big ones? Yeah. What is? Yeah. What is big? What is big? What is big for you? What would be a big? You know what? What has been a big one? I'm big, twelve inch big. Me like when them big and have use. Care some of them big and at them come like sweet pepper big and at <laughs> them big, but them not alive. life. Uh. They know about them. Me not telling like me usually go and I love the size, the big size, and it's something of them. But they know when they get old. No, but old. why, 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 why is you loved it back then? You never, that's all you got? Or no, man, oh, it made, it made me feel different, man. Tell me how different. <laughs> yeah, give me uh, Marley Gripe and Flux to come make me feel different. When <laughs> me jump up and go out with myself and come, come talk about it. But, you know, you like talk with your friend. Right. But was that a good thing back then? Or you but didn't me, know? Me didn't know. Did with you me have, think it did good? You thought it was good? Yeah, but no. No, me get older, me realize that no. And it's and, and it not really about size all the time. Big size all the time. Right. It's not really about big. You, have some, right. you know, in, in especially dance hall or in inner cities, then mm -hmm. the girls. Yeah, man, the crazy up over the, 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 the tall people, them, man. When the people, them tall and carrying themselves, man. And and they, they, they talk, you know, no, if them thing no big, me no want, want it. it. Yeah. yeah, that's what me. I tell like a summer week, but then. 
when they're young, certain way, I just you crave for the big thing them. But you see, when they get older, yes, you say, you understand? It can be done it, better with something smaller. It, it can. Not every time. But All right. Just the fast in your business. It depends. What has been the biggest you've ever encountered where you say, no, sir? Have you ever encountered that? Where I, I am not taking that. <laughs> yeah, I'm book up on them, man. I'm book up on some big dead one, too. <laughs> what do you I'm mean by up. big and dead? What do you mean by cats? And everybody eat the right food, exercise, and them something. Remember, say it takes um, a holy yes. to lift that something there, you know. <laughs> and when that is big, you spend it big, you have to have the holy for blood for pump that. Not if you, if you don't eat yeah. right and certain things that now nah, get up. And that's why I would say some of them come like sweet pepper, big and <laughs> hot. So, okay, let's say you got into a position like that. What would you have done or did? Say you're going and it big and not hot. No man, my talk man. Then if the, eh, me, me attack. Ah, if nothing do me, them attack. Me, me attack. I said, yeah, we waste my time. My talk. My talk. <laughs> what, 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 like what you said to them and what they say to you. You know, we won't understand. All right, it. then. For, for instance, the, the, the big and the odd part. Me I said, you know, you, me can't work with this, you know. Me and, um, just be with my man. And next time, mm, next time come on the same thing. Me not a joking. That's why me still, me not really believe in a marriage before sex. Right? No, me not believe in it because look here, more. Me, me have to realize, me have to see the shot of fire <laughs> first. Yeah. Me have to test it. Me have to, me have to light the fire and see how it burn. But isn't that they would say, well, you'd marry him not for sex? <laughs> Listen, me no man, me married him for everything, Carly. Listen, what's wrong with you, man? Me married him for everything. Sex, good loving, everything me married for. How wrong with the car? I hope that then me now. All right, then me go so back, me I married you and, and that not ready. And, or, and, 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 and a little, under and, the tree. I want a little, look at something with me, I go with that. No, yeah, I'll get one, sir. <laughs> a wicked, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm married, and I mean, I'm married, forget nobody in the world. Yeah, Marlon, yeah. tell me now. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, right. well, I'm put them love you. Trust me, you keep it real. Right, you keep it real. Sure. And you're Have right. you ever been in a situation where you couldn't get it up? No, you know what? Lie. When I was younger, but that was because of anxiety. That was because of anxiety, and it's an older female, and you know, I wasn't. Yeah. Oh, she was. I was older. about sixteen at the time. You know, sixteen and, yeah, and having sex. Yeah, man. With a big older woman. Yeah, man. I don't know, and oh, it was it was it was kind of nerve wracking for no say a young man I could deal with this older woman yeah? right? And the mind wasn't properly prepared, so anxiety is a serious thing mm -hmm. when it comes to performing. So confidence is vital. So couldn't that have broke you down though and, and deflate you? Uh, what did she say though? What did she say? Well, was she, she was understanding? Female, yeah, that she knows I was young, that. and she was like, you know what? Here we go, and I go show you the things, yeah, man. Make sure you're all right. This is how we're going to take it. Take our time, and then the next time around, we'll deal with it proper. Yeah. So, so experience is vital in this case. Oh you know, I was in experience. So even though even though what she liked about me is that you know she was a neighbor and she used to see me show one them thing there. You know, in the yard and them something she oh, see the vibe. Hold on, say, you know, so he spot she spotted. Yeah man. Oh old older was she? Twenty. Oh no. So it wasn't that, that older. Oh yeah. I thought it was like a pedophile. No, 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 no. no. She was twenty. 60, yeah, she was 20, 20, 21, yeah. Mm -mm. And as, and she Sounds was attracted to a sixteen year old because of your I size. didn't look sixteen though. I'm a, I'm a, I'm six foot three. You know, I've always been tall. No, but so. wouldn't she know you're 16? No, she wouldn't. Oh, she didn't know? No, she thought I was 18 or 19. Because of the size of, of, of and your big my height and everything, my stature. No, so forget your size height. of that. No, yes, yeah, so what I'm saying, everything complements everything. Oh, okay. So I didn't look like a little boy with a big one. Yeah, man. You know, man. Big and strong. Uh, yeah, I'm wrong with Carly. Someone can give him a rifle to sit down. So, solid yeah, man. a solid man, yeah. But I can tell you, listeners, that does not mean. Because he's six foot three, yeah. he has a nine or over. Yeah, just believe. It me. Doesn't mean that. Trust me. They always said, "Ah, me judge a man if I'm foot him shoe size." That's also not true because I know somebody with six and a half. I tell you, problem round there. I know somebody that used to wear size six and a half to seven just mm. to buy because you can't yeah. find the six and a half yeah. size shoes and that was not the package he's packing Jesus, <laughs> me like when the package me like when we get the package and the package nice rock good and nice <laughs> she smiled you nice, should see her face clean <laughs> fresh so, you know what I'm going so ladies there? here's the reality for me you now as I mature right Besides the having the size and all them something which is awesome, the chemistry is vital. Yes. If I do have any chemistry with the individual, it makes no sense to even 
a temp. Even if you just, okay, let's say you're in the club, you're drinking, you're partying, and you just see a girl that you like. No, I mean, I did something there. Never, even when you were young? When I was young, I know. My, my standards were kind of different, always. Because as young coming up, from a touch around, say, 18, 19, any woman I'm going to be with is a possibility she can get pregnant and have my child. So based on that, on a serious, serious note, you know, right. I wasn't the individual that, that moved like me in a sense. I've been very wise because I've only called 15 Pitney and I'm not taking care of none of them. So at the end of the day, Damn. we do true. anything different, you know? True, true. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know if the listeners will call in to, you know, <laughs> do something with us. But do you think Big starts at nine and over pump day? You yeah, wouldn't big say start, eight. Big, uh, big start from eight for me. From eight, big start. Mm -hmm. From eight. It makes sense to pick the number still, you know. You know why? Because when you're not aroused, your vaginal passage is four inches deep. And when you're fully aroused, your cervix lift and create four inches more depth. Yeah. So it's interesting to pick eight. So yeah, in total, yeah. it's eight inches. It actually expands. To. But then if you say at eight, you know, think you can manage that. If middle? If you had a penis that um I came to you and you saw it, wouldn't you think you can manage it? We can manage it. Yeah, we can manage. So oh you said twelve would make you scared. In our way, but if as we said the chemistry right and everything I is not the time. Listen me man, sometime um the size will maybe bigger and all of that and the person will know where my do same so jam 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 and mash you up. Mm -hmm. But that could do from a six. And yeah, me know, but me just uh, say you have some man mm -hmm. out there, mm -hmm. them they really go so hard and carry on. Mm -hmm. You have some man of size and they make you feel good. Good size and they make you feel good, make you always want it. While they have some man of some size, but them they know how to use it. True. So they mash you up certain way where it don't gain a vibes. For go back. True, chemistry. True. Yeah, so yeah. as we just said, the chemistry right now, it really matter because me can tell you, you go to somebody and you know wet and that person yeah, make you wet for you. That person you know, you see that. That person they can just kiss you and you just wet up yourself. Isn't that because of how you feel about the person? Yes, though? the chemistry. No, so, without even the chemistry. You know, yeah, like how you feel. Yes, yeah. how you feel. And about how the, the person, person treated to make you feel. And they sometimes some you feel some. this way, you know, but when you get together, that sexual chemistry is not there. That is true. You know, you like this man so much, yeah. but when, when you get face there, to face and yeah, it, it's yeah. just not there. You keep trying until No, man, me, me, me talk to man where me and them over the phone, I'm really like them, but when me get to meet them in person, I'm not like how them breath smell and them something. <laughs> so it kind of turned me off. What really turns you off, Um, if you should, we're talking about the big D, right? Mm. What turns you off if a man has this wrong? Tell me, so that 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 wrong, on the big D. What would first turn thing you, you you have it, but if the IG not proper, that would turn you off. That turn me off, and boy, I me mean, the, the, <laughs> the, the IG. Remember, IG the command the mode, yeah. your foot, the, every all of them look at somebody. Right, have no, no have we get fresh. past all of that, and it's just on the big D, right? What what could 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 you see his underwear and it turns you off? You know, we um, can you have to take pride in knowing you come to a woman. You have Trust to take me, pride. So underwear turns me off. If you if you if you if your underpants stay a certain type, oh yeah, even my son, them teach them that. No, and if you're coming a brief. Yeah, me know me know certain things me not too like. More you just like oh me a sexy up for you, more you sexy up for me. And <laughs> does hair matter to you? Like if if me not too like the whole if I ear back a ear ear me not like if a cleaner and nice and Rastaman always like me you know. <laughs> I'm like them too. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, ladies, men, are you hearing? Here matters. Smell yeah, ma matters. Mm -hmm. Clothes, your underwear matters. So, don't just think it stop at, you know, because you have a big 10 or 11 or 12, you know, we're going to just roll over and say yes. No. All right. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to go. I have a doctor with me tonight too. He's going to be on. Dr. Kirk Jones um, will be yeah, joining us by Zoom. All right, Dr. Kirk Jones. Oh, because I was waiting to see him, you know, you know, to look. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But as I say, 
men out there, listen to listen to the ladies, all right? Don't just think because you think you're all that. Mm. Yeah. If a man came to you in a thong, would that turn you on or off? mad. <laughs> and it, it must Make be, it must be, ma, only when I see me as a dancer or something, man, me will see, but you can't just come in the room in that song. Yeah, man, no. fox. No. <laughs> oh, so if, if okay, you, you went to a dance and you and him go home and it's the first time, you know him, you know, but it's the first no, time. No, I cannot wear that. That is for me for put on that. That is a No. <laughs> <laughs> no thong for bumpy. <laughs> no thong for me to either, no. please. <laughs> it must be that you and him foreplaying and you choose to ask him. Mr. Alwin, many man, no. You know, you, you, if you're coming, if 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 it's a thong you really choose, I prefer you not coming or nothing. <laughs> Maybe see with you. <laughs> Don't come in and me all right today without nothing at all. <laughs> Brother, you never put on a You agree or disagree? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going too far with the one, man. A sexy boxer brief here, yeah, like nice boxer brief that, you know, showcase your package and showcase how you look. Yeah, but not a thong. Yeah. Would there be an underwear that a girl would, girl would come in that would also turn you off or you wouldn't want her to like be? Next, I said, not Natasha Fairman. Oh, you just prefer yeah, her? Man, just come without... as you are. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, man, just straight to the no, point. No, no. I like when a man has on uh, uh, underwear. A, a question for you. Do yeah. big, big bingo turn you on? Honestly, right. boy shorts. Like a nice oh, boy shorts cut. Up on the bank, like yeah, up. but not a big baggy kind of vibes. Oh. Like, that's for your period. When you see the men's tray, you wear them things, they make sure you say, all right. But in regards to a nice, cute boy shorts kind of vibes, yeah, yeah I'm cool with that. A big bingo for when you're period? Yep, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Them, they know some women do that. Some yeah, women some ladies wear, wear you know, they're more comfortable. Old panties. Yeah. yeah when but at least time. not big because it needs to hold it up. Yeah, but no, 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 we don't mean big, I'm not big. really big, big, big. Yeah, you man, know. you're talking the little, the bloomers kind of thing. All right, so everything <laughs> is in, in, in what you like. It's not what yeah. is right or wrong because yeah. it might be wrong for you, right for her. Yeah. Vice right versa, yeah. wrong for me, right for her. And we don't know. Um, the doctor, I can't wait for him to come because I have a lot of questions, but I'm not seeing him. Good night. Good night, Dr. Jones. Hi, good night. Thanks How are you me. tonight? And welcome to the Bridge 99 FM. And you're with thank you, me, thank that's you. all Queen Carlene. And in studio is Pompete and Marlon. And we're all <laughs> excited to hear what hey, is... what's going on, Doc? Wait, what did Dr. Hey, I'm here. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What's up? Is This is the little baby doctor. Oh. My God, you look like <laughs> yes, you look like still no, no, in no. medical school. Yeah, so no, welcome no. to Sex on the Bridge with me. And thanks, tonight thanks. we're talking about, you know, size. And does it matter or not? Um, right, first, right. you can agree or disagree. What do you consider in the medical term to be a big um, D? Well, I can tell you what we call average. Okay. Um, and the average, well, at flaccid or what we call Jamaicans call dead. So roughly around 3.16 inches, about three to four inches thereabout. But when then they say I well, hardly hear you know, it. You're hardly are you hearing me now? Yes. Peter? All right. So I'm saying um medically, you know, I can tell you what's average. So for the average male, um, when it's flaccid or what Jamaicans call dead, you know, is around three to four inches. And when erect, it should be around six. So that's the average. That's right. what we say, average. Um, I think the word big is relative, you know. So for some people, they may say big is nine, nine and above. I know that's what they sing a lot, especially in dance. And it's a Jamaican <laughs> type of vibe as well, nine and above, you know. Nimata. So, <laughs> so I mean, I mean, big is relative, but for sure, I can tell you that that's what average is. Okay, so average, um, relaxed is three point something. Three, three, yeah, three, around three to four inches, roughly. All right, and erected. Right? Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm saying three to four inches um, relaxed right. and uh, right and erect around six inches um, average. Average. Right. So, mm -hmm. ladies, if if a man comes to you with a six, that's actually not bad, from what <laughs> you know. Six well, that's two. average. That's average. average. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you guys would call bad. Because I said big is relative, good and bad relative. But is there anything medically wrong with when you get it too big? And too big, you know, we're going to go, no. as Pompite say, eight and over. Well, let's go into ridiculous measurements like the 10, the 11, the 12, and up. 
No, there's there's nothing wrong with that at all. For I the mean, woman. For the as, woman. For the woman. Yes. Well, <laughs> at the end of the day, um, let's, let me just put things in context for you, right? So the vaginal canal is about three to four inches long. Right. And then at the end of the vaginal canal is the cervix. Right. Right. So you can imagine a 12 inch, um, a 10 inch or a 11 inch, whatever, you know, anything those, those overnight of sizes, every, anything over nine. Right. You can imagine um, um, thrusting a 12 inch, 11, 10 inch um, into a woman. I mean, for some women, it may, it may be enjoyable, but for some women, they express that it can be painful because hitting against the cervix sometimes mm-hmm. causes a little bruising, they can have a little mild bleeding mm-hmm. here and there. And some for some women, discomfort. I know that for sure, some women will say that, boy, it has to do with um, positioning. I mean, because some of them enjoy, you know, certain certain sizes, you know, are better with certain positioning. But really and truly, I mean, if you think about it, just being logical, understanding that the vaginal canal is around three to four inches long, right? And the width is about 1.5 there about. You can imagine thrusting all of that. It can, it can be painful for some, and some find it enjoyable. So as I said, it's really relative. Right? Okay. Um, and I'll ask the doctor first and then pump it in you. What is the size best, you know, to fit you or be comfortable when, for a certain position? You know, to, what, <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> Well, well, as I said, it's always relative. As a doctor, I can't tell a patient or I can't tell somebody, hey, hear what? I think you should have a, a, a size seven. I think that will give you the best no, no, pleasure. No. So no. let's say you have a big mm-hmm. size. You know, and what right. would you say to her? All right, take it on your back, on your side, on your bend down, foot up in the... What is well, the best position? No, well, there's no... I, there's not Medically, I can't say that there, there's a best position for, for, for uh, what I should say. Over nine inch or whatever size there is per se. Right. But what I can say is that um, certain positions allow for better reach. Um, what position probably, is that? Um, well, I, I, I'm not exactly Doc, sure. Doc, you mind if I interject for a second? Yeah, yeah uh, that's so, fine. So Go here's ahead. the deal, right? We, we talk about the size or we talk about the position and all that. As a man, if, if yeah. a man of a large member, you have to gauge and see how the female is feeling. And the, mm-hmm. the point is that you're trying to, you know, stroke the cervix to get her to, you know, and stroke the G-spot to actually get her. So the best position for me, as a man, if I'm with my partner, is to try to always hit the G-spot constantly. And it's really and truly not all the way inside. It's like about uh, two inches inside the vagina. The thrusting motion will create that vibe where she's getting engulfed, vagina is getting wet, her body's getting moist. She's just coming together. And then now, when I hit the G-spot properly at a particular angle, either with a pillow under her back, or I could probably have her in a, um, in a back shot position with a pillow under her stomach, but I'm constantly stimulating the G-spot. That will stimulate squirting as well. Right. All right. Is right. there is everybody G-spot at the same place, Doc? Right. So, Anna, well, anatomically, no, not. yes, it is. It well, is. Based, based, based on reading, yes, yes, it okay. is. Um, so, yes, you, just as um, just as you were saying earlier, um, about trying to hit the cervix, that's not necessarily what the intention. No, not the cervix. Sorry, it was the G spot right. I meant to say. Right. Sorry about that. Not right, the right. Yeah. And and as I want to tell you, the G spot is actually just near to the entrance. Actually, just um, posterior to the to the to the pubic symphysis. That is just mm-hmm. a bone area there. Um, around at that particular level. So it's very much more earlier than you would reach all the way to the exactly. cervix. Right. All right, just for, just mm-hmm. for the listeners who don't know, what is a G-spot? Just for the listeners who don't know. Oh, so just as how somebody would describe as a sweet spot, a G-spot basically is just an area where there's a bundle of nerves, a lot of sensory nerves. So that's where you get the most stimulation. Remember, sex is really in the head, you know, not necessarily in the physical. And, so, and another question yeah. to follow: Does every woman have a G spot? Yes. Okay. Because we all have the same nerve nerves, basically the same nerve distribution. You might have one and two variants, right? Just as in everything, there's abnormal and there's normal. But generally, generally, we all have a G spot. Well, all the ladies, sorry, have G spot, right? All right. So everybody, Pompite, what is your favorite position? And and you can tell me why. Uh, you don't have just one. No, I don't have one. You can just tell me one. Back where my love. I'm like mama and papa. Missionary, yeah. <laughs> mama and papa. Yeah, yeah what? That's the missionary on yeah. your back. And missionary so, yeah, missionary. Yeah. It's the it's the for the nuns, you know. So 
you have people who say that's boring. No, just, that no, 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 no. I'm just telling you where they go, you know, they want. Versus if I really like my partner, bread, love what my partner smell, yeah. that's not boring to me. So, so, like. But it's actually one of the best orgasms, yes, to believe it or not. So. <laughs> um, Doc, do you recommend um, for a woman, let's say, you know, they'll say their womb are low. What do you recommend for a woman who says, or it is fact, that her womb is low? Do you recommend that she have big partners, you know, with big Ds? Well, well, for a lot of women per se, right, there's a lot of variation in women in terms of how low line their um, cervix may be. Some are higher line, some are low line. As, as I mentioned, for some ladies who are low line, um, you, a taller or a longer um, penis may be a little bit more um, painful in a sense because then you're having direct strokes to the to the um the cervix in a sense and as i mentioned before sometimes direct hits on the cervix can be painful for some women and it can cause all those other complications as mentioned right so not not necessarily um for some women probably it might bring them joy but others painful and if it's your if you're low line right and you want to go ahead and say boy let's try something a little shorter for you um, that can probably stimulate your G-spot. As I mentioned, it was closer to the entrance. Then, by all means, go ahead. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, on that note, we're going to take a break from Sex on the Bridge. Yes, I'm in studio with Pampete, but we're going to come right back. And when we come back, guys, you can join in the conversation. We'll be right back. Sex on the Bridge. Welcome back to Sex on the Bridge. Yes, 99 FM. And if you want to join in with me and the crew in here, Pompete and Marlon and Dr. Of course, on the um, Dr. Jones, uh, call us on 9876-676-4996. Or you can text uh, less than a minute. Please don't make it too long. And no explicit. No explicit. Please. Um, 876-551. 5782 that's the whatsapp line and send us a yes yeah, send us a voice note one minute or less um on the whatsapp line 876-551-5782 sex on the bridge and we're talking about the size matters we're joined with property <laughs> so property you heard the doctor have you had any complaints for yourself medically have anything that you've gotten, you know, big that to the emergency. But I don't go to emergency like that. But feel some only for pain, man. We are say, man. Mm -hmm. Girl, and Marlon, deep. Girl, <laughs> <body> shallow. <laughs> Marlon, have you ever had to take a female to the? the no. No. Again, with great responsibility. With great with a <laughs> with great powers come great responsibilities. Meaning, um. <laughs> If you know you have a large penis, virgin, just take your time, man. Sex for pleasure, not for pain. At the end of the day, I'm not trying to have my feet, my, my woman in discomfort. Like that, that not feel good to me. But you have some man and them woman, but them treated diff a man treat a woman different. Cause if you's not really personal woman, or but if you, him, him go hard for you. Understood. But either which way, whether you're the personal woman or you're the you're the side, side chick, whatever chick. it is. And sometimes you're not even side chick. You know, you use nothing. You what, just get uh, All right, whatever the person is. <laughs> I believe that once a man is in tune properly <laughs> and yeah. understand the female anatomy and how to deal with a woman, a woman is still a woman. All right, so down to the bottom line, Marlon is just a great lover from what he's explaining. I research a yeah. lot and I like to understand but my wasn't, partner. Wasn't there any time that you weren't that grown? Um, boy, I'm a start young still and on. Learn and to, you knew you knew what to do from just day yeah man one? just just analyzing and, and I always, I always liked all the women so them them normally just imply certain things and say hey watch your flex you know slow it down <laughs> you know you're not average just make sure so you deal with the thing that we are and then yeah. as as time progressed and I become more in tune with what I want from a female in regards to her response and how I want her body to respond to mine I I definitely become walking all right you know? doc, dr jones <laughs> what what you think like for women who don't understand or don't know or have never had what do you think they should do you know to prepare themselves when they buck up into like a marlon you know to be honest 
a lot of women sometimes, you know, they kind of don't play the importance of having additives to like a sexual experience. Mm -hmm. And lubricants really do help, you know. Like, for example, I mean, a guy, for example, with a large penis, a lot of girth, I should say, large width and all of that. Sometimes, you know, that can cause a lot of tearing, mm -hmm. a lot of friction, you know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, as you mentioned, the guys, the young guys who just want to go there and just all of the hard work, all of the... But then call it Jack and I say them are the man, I'm here the man. I say them are the... Right, mm -hmm. and when them left, them ego tall, tall up to the ceiling and all of that. At the end of the day, you're causing harm to the lady. So sometimes a lady can't even prepare on her own because sometimes she can't even set up to the man too. You know, boy, bring a lubricant, boy, bring something that can, you know, make it a little more pleasurable. So lubricants can help for one. Um, even the same thing as you mentioned before, um, it comes in maturity, it can tease a woman in a sense. Yeah, four um, plays vital, four yeah. plays vital. Mm -hmm. right. Mental as stimulation said, is vital. True. Yeah, for sure. So as I, as I mentioned before, sex is all in the head. So even with the G-spot, as we mentioned before, learning to stimulate it, you know, foreplay a lot, say you get a little bit more, um, what I should say, um, lubricating Wait. naturally. Yeah, the body, yeah, the, the female the naturally prepares herself, correct, yeah. <laughs> right, right. So things like those for sure. But just um, in case she can't get wet on her own. Then guys. don't do with a man there. Don't, yeah, don't sleep so, with a man so, there. <laughs> I'm no, sorry. But, but hold on, <laughs> Doc. Doc, isn't it it's fact that some women can't get wet naturally on their own? Uh, not necessarily. There are, As I said, there's always ab abnormalities. People right. that stray from the norm. Right. But that's like a smaller percentage of people. I mean, at the end of the day, as I said, you can go into... There are a lot of sex stores, actually. You can go in. You can, you can even go to a Fetish. doctor's office. Get your toys, yeah. man. Yeah. Yo, I love doctor. vibrator, doc. I tell you, I love vibrator. <laughs> Nothing wrong Yo, with me, me <laughs> after the cure, the cure of one, I have have my vibrator with me. <laughs> Nothing wrong. It, do, here one. it doesn't kill a man ego, you know. So I, I believe it shouldn't kill a man either, to be honest. But Yo. but doesn't right. do, doesn't it mm -hmm. um, make it harder for her though to have? I mean, this is going a million miles mm -hmm. per hour. Doesn't not that? Not not, not every guy is like. She said a vibrator. Yeah. No, oh, the vibrator. Oh, vibrator, oh, vibrator. Vibrator right. have around six speed. Yeah. And, and how, how does how learn. does a man mm -hmm. compete with that? Does it cause mm -hmm. any harm to her? It complements it because I actually use it with my with my woman. It complements ah, it. Yeah, I love it. it, it yeah, it's a say, different right? terrain. Come like, on, really? Who's going with it? There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> the man that moves for that, something wrong with them. No, nothing. Me say, yeah. I prefer you have that. You care. Yeah, Sometimes, so, man, me have man usually fight it. You know, oh, you go with very car. Honestly, me never use a dildo yet. Never from the day my bought me a 37 year old. I mean, never use a dildo yet. Never. Right? Only thing me use a vibrator. I me say one friend asked me one time. They are texting. So the vibrator is different from the, the other thing. So it's like yes. the rabbits and the bullets. Yeah, and man, the, look oh. a vibr no, right. said, hey, the vibrator. No, 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 just no, want no, to say. Hold on, let me tell you what the vibrator do me now. The vibrator let me kick up. Me kick up my foot. You know what I'm saying? Kick out the foot because you know my mascot. The vibrator, the vibrator touch by me. Yo, me say me just a kick up my foot. Come like me get mad of my ears turn up in my head. Me say yes, I diss me one. Me love. This. Right, 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 right. <laughs> well, I mean, as, as as I was saying, you know, um, so remember, the, the that, that's a, under, oh, let sorry, me hear you. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I was I was just saying that, uh, uh, like Pompey who said she's never um used a dildo before. Never. I mean, some people, uh, for me personally, I, I don't believe in getting things to you know additional Inserted. penetration. Okay. No, I, I don't believe in the inserts. What I what, what I support though is the use of those additives like the vibrators duck. and so forth. That's a lot. Duck. You know? Hold you. What's up, though? Hold you. Eh? Hold you. Me? Yes. I'm, I'm totally at the right age for this discussion. No, man, you're fine. It's the reason why I ask you because what happened is that I was mm. once like you myself, but as mm. I as I explore the world and I research yeah. in depth and I like pleasing my woman. So right, right. I I, I well, literally, I'm, a young doctor, I'm just curious. I'm, like I'm 28. So, you you're, know, good go, I'm you're good to go, man. You're good to go. I'm proud of you too. <laughs> Big up yourself, <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah, man. But um, mm. yeah, you're good. Continue. <laughs> this things, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, so you were talking about a woman preparing for a, a, a case like that. So, as I mentioned, you can even go into a doctor's office and say, "Boy, doc, you know, say you can help me with some natural lube with some lubricants." We have, a, we have a doctor normally has like water lubricants, water-based lubricants that we can give. You know, additionally, a woman can always say, "Boy, let me try to." Because sometimes even the things that they use to prepare themselves, a woman prepare themselves a lot before going to sex. You know. Some women use a lot of um, soap just to clean the area, you know, that does a lot of drying out. Um, they use other things like douching and stuff like that. So those things kind of throw off 
um the vagina in a sense yeah, the natural vagina, that, vagina yeah, yeah and it, and it makes it even way much more drier so that's that, that's a whole lot more friction you're adding to the whole equation here but that, right? but but as Prampity and Marlon mm-hmm. says, if you're mm-hmm. you could uh, wash out, turn out, dry out, if you're so turned on, there is no stopping the lubricant coming. I was just about to say right. Doc, it's like you were saying earlier, right? Not to interject, but mm-hmm. um, what you were saying earlier in regards to it's all in the mind. It's like for instance, Pamputi, like I said, as soon as you see the man, you just get turned on automatically. Mm-hmm. So when you have that again, that's why it goes back to chemistry. Personally, I do not engage in sexual activity with no one I don't have chemistry with. Point blank. Because at the end of the day, right. some man when they're younger, they probably have a little erectile dysfunction and think it's because, you know, them can't. But there's no vibes with the person. True. You see somebody, right, the right. person look really, really good. And then when they get in the bedroom, it's a different story. The chemistry is not there. Listen, you know, you see me, me, I talk about me. We not talk about nobody else. Yeah. Me, I talk about me. You see me, me can't have a good, 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 good sex. I mean, we see, and the man will go about in business and go on a foreign and I'm Jamaica and think about it and come. Nice. Right, because it's in me your mind. I have to go out there and say, all right, I have to go cheat. Mm-hmm. And come in too, I don't love that. From me, from me, I deal, me, I deal. Right. And when my sister thinks now nah, I go good, me will just step out. In, yeah. You know, step out. But yeah. otherwise, from that, when, when, when I you, I say, I you, I say. Um, Doc wanted to ask you a question about um the size. All right. What, what what about the size per se? Oh, I'm not seeing him. That's why I wasn't hearing him either. Okay. Oh. Okay. So what's? Oh, Nikki from WhatsApp is online. Oh. <laughs> oh, Ricky from WhatsApp is asking: Does size have anything to do with how long you last? No. No. Definitely not. Definitely it's not. Coming and endurance uh, is different. How long it lasts has a lot. There's a many, many contributing factors. It can be psychological, you know. It can be. It can even be due to just um displeasure. It can be due to um, you know, poor performance overall. Many things can cause it. Many things can turn off it. Not just your size. Size really and truly has nothing to do with that. And then experience as well too. You know, right. is not that. Yeah, yeah. inexperience sure. as well. And what mm-hmm. happened if like a man comes quick? What would you recommend he gets? fixed or if it takes Mm -hmm. too long i've had patients who well most times patients complain about coming too quick i don't know about anybody coming about complain about taking too long (laughs) yes there is too long oh yes there yeah man yeah man now we ask him man tell me drink our water as a time out man yeah man you have them long people man my my bad for time out man and drink go in a fridge and drink water and say cree (laughs) voila yes trust me Fair enough, but people don't, most times people go to the doctor complaining about that. I think I'm coming too fast, you know? And most times you say to them, say, boy, really and truly, as I said, a lot of it, most times is about advice and counseling, because it can be a lot of it is psychological, to be honest, most times. Um, Sometimes uh, a guy can be overstimulated. He can be um, just extremely happy, um, you know? So those are factors that come into play. But Improper nutrition as well, too, in a doc. Like if the blood is not circulating properly, well. so, yeah, right. exercise so, and them so the right time. Right. Right. Remember me talk about it a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. There, right, there, there is even, sorry. That's why, for coming too is, quick, but what would you, what is the reasons for coming too long, taking too long? You make up your mind to stay alive. Well, I am that person. <laughs> Like literally, I'm that no, person. Let's you say you want. Back. Let's say you want to come. And I can. Like, oh well, for not for you then. <laughs> for somebody who wants to come but just can't. Well, sometimes there is there are there are medical conditions per se that are involved with That's this. That's a good problem. Um, most most times <laughs> no, what we do is not. Not too long. Right. Like so mo- long. most times what we do, for example, we'd refer them to get to, um. To, we yeah. prefer them to probably like a a, a, a urologist or so to get further um assessment. Right, they get further assistance, but from my point of view, um, there's there's many causes per se. Um, off the top of my head, I can say that sometimes it can be due to um, abnormalities with like the testicles and so forth, production of sperm and all of that can come into play. But I mean, as I say, you don't, I do, you don't regularly see that that often, you know. Um, what I can talk about are patients with diabetes, sugar, you know. What happens sometimes is they they, they even have a problem with, with even erection, much less even getting started, mm-hmm. you know. So. As I said, there are medical conditions that contribute to it, per se. Um, many issues with sex performance overall, but as I said, most of it is psychological. Most of it. Most so times. can something yeah. be done about that? 
for what? For psychologically? Of course. So for, we, we for, for performing them. too long, where it's both, it's bad for both the man and the woman. He's tired, him, but he wants to have an orgasm. Uh, so most times what happens is that it's because he stays erected for too long. Mm -hmm. Right? So erection and ejaculation basically are, are, happens based on two different causes, two different nervous systems cause that, two different types of nervous stimulation, right? Mm -hmm. So what happens is an overstimulation of one type of the nerve. So that causes it to stay longer and you're not getting the ejaculation. When you ejaculate afterwards and you reach a climax, that's when you're supposed to go back to your normal state of flaccidity. Right? When you go back to just being dead. So what is happening is that he's having overstimulation sometimes. And what you can do is if you staying up too long, there's many outside procedures that are done, specialist procedures, of which I can't necessarily um describe or explain to you now, because I said that's out of my jurisdiction. But I'm that's a general a good problem to have again. Right. Ours is not a problem no. because we're gonna take a break from the bridge, <laughs> sex on the bridge on the bridge ninety-nine FM, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to SOB on the Bridge 99FM and you're listening to Dance All Queen Carlene and in studio with me I have Pompate and my very good friend Latani Styles just joined me and by the way guys she is a hater of Big D <laughs> <laughs> and I also have with me VCB Roy he's not related to the other VC be right <laughs> and he has been told in many 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 occasion that he is huge welcome back to sex on the bridge and we are definitely we have a doctor in house too to help us to go through dr Do, um dr jones and we're just gonna flow in welcome latanya thanks for having me and Pamputi, I don't want you to leave, Tra. But I have Can't some. Why don't want me to leave? Ka, you, 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 you're rude. <laughs> I do have a gift from Fetish for you. Wow. Fetish, fetish secret. Yeah. Fetish secret. Today, <laughs> you know. So look and tell me if it's what you like. And guys, you can go to Fetish anytime. It's on Phoenix Avenue. 9 to 11 Phoenix Avenue fetish and get your toys. Different kind. That's the rose Ooh. with the tongue. Tongue, yeah, girl. At this body, this <laughs> No fetish. People don't need to run over to fetish secret right now. Come on, like. By the way, they would mean another problem with me. Me just use the vibrator and sleep. Me don't really give bone like that. <laughs> oh, your vibrator give bone. Um, yes. Prefer you get bone with this. And I also have something for Latanya. Oh my I didn't dear. have anything for the guys, but What's just go down to Fetish and they have a lot of things for you. Okay. Open 9211 Phoenix Avenue and get your stuff. Shade will mm. hook you up with all the things that I think you need or want. What Thanks, is it you fetish. have there? Okay, let me quickly open this. All right, so it says Bestie Bullets. Whoa, girl, that's like kicking <laughs> I got up. a that. new Bestie. Oh, my God. Girl, <laughs> that make you kick so, out. So, you know, know, fetish for all of They have everything. Lubricants, okay. things for the everything. Just go there and get yours. See what you got. Her and it says Super Power. Mm -mm. Okay. And you're supposed to kick out your foot <laughs> like me. <laughs> Well, okay, Latanya, yes. welcome. Um, Thank you. Why is it you Fetish. don't like a big D? Um, uncomfortable. And All of them? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I shouldn't say you it like find, that. You must get something more big where you like, man. You can't just <laughs> like all of them, so. Honestly, the way you talk about them, 9 inch and them 12 and all of that. Oh, have, you, have, 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 have you ever buck up into anything <laughs> abnormal, like anything over nine? No. Like, I'm still waiting to see that. You want me to give you some numbers? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, you have two right here, you know. You could just let them show you. So you could say, okay, I'm not interested or interested. <laughs> would would you be willing to show her? I know you owe him little. Hello, he was demonstrating no, not, not to me. No, not in the studio, not, not in the not, studio. Not right here, not right here. But you were willing to show her. <laughs> I, I, we could talk. We could talk. Carly, behind, behind the, the scenes, mic. behind the scenes, I was asking him, what is nine inch? And he was like showing me the length going down towards his knee. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. what do you call, what, you say you're big. 
And big is relevant to a lot of persons, but as the doctor explained, anything over six, but that not that's not realistic, okay? True. As women, there is nowhere I'm going to see a six and think it's too big. I'm going to say, ooh, I want, I want that, right? I'm not going to say, no, if I see something over nine inches, I'm going to put my clothes back on and go back to where I'm coming really? from. I mean, well, no, I might try, but hey, let's <laughs> What what what's realistically large in terms of your saying or who has told you? Have you ever measured it? I have, yes. And what's the measurement? Uh it's nine point seven. Nine point seven. Well look look like an antima combo nine point seven like him and you said. It's a earthquake. It's a earthquake. And 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 that's a shocker to most women. Ah. Pump it. <laughs> <laughs> and that definitely would be a shocker. Or do you speak to the partners you're going to have before? Um, it's a mixed bag. I, it, sometimes I like the surprise, sometimes I don't. Um, but you really feel out the person. Um, as Marlon was saying earlier, you really get a vibe for that person so you know how to go in. You can't just really bum rush everybody because not everybody make for that. True. Have you ever gotten a girl um, that's a, this no big? Yes, but like after the fact. It was after about I said like a few months, probably like a year or so after, like the person would let me up and say, yo, you know, someone book on somebody bigger. I was like, oh, well, you know, big ups to you. Are you okay? And yeah. <laughs> no, so it wasn't she taking it and saying it's not big. No, it wasn't that. Okay, so she does found something bigger. It, indeed. There are bigger people out there. Oh, yes, there are. Bigger, bigger. I mean, I tell you. <laughs> it's a very humbling world. And Latanya is never buck up on any. Latanya, not even a DM or regular. Them send me <laughs> my DM, you know. Sometimes I'm on in time. I feel, me feel wonder if I go up on the internet. Because, you know, come it's Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. Maybe it full up. It, wow. It, yeah, so me I want to say not even for one of them look at somebody in this something about pep um pelb chew or something I look at message, I look at DM something. Or it's not no man the man them aren't me latin me, I tell you that. <laughs> them aren't me like them are surely don't be. <laughs> so you can imagine poor me. But no. Wow. <laughs> and and they they send a picture, not necessarily there. They're yo, trying to say it's there. Yo. They mm -hmm. send me a picture. Picture. Several men of uh, of their private parts. Wow. That's an irregular mid But Sometimes never ever it's a small one. It's it. always, what the hell? Yes, it, that, that me I say, like, you them know them half, them just come for, I mean, I say, why them text it by me? Yeah, I show me sing right it. <laughs> I said, this and that and that and this. Yes, yes. So they automatically think, that you can't manage. I don't know why they send it to me, yeah. though. I've never said anything. <laughs> <laughs> Poor me. You're the queen of dancehall. <laughs> well, well. So, and the figure. And, and then I'm in my Somebody put no, 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 she can manage it. So I can't ask Latiana anything. She's never experienced a very big nothing over nine. No. no. Have you ever gotten a a, 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 big, a D, not big, that you <laughs> thought was but this big? Yes, and it was one of the sweet pepper ones. Big and hot. <laughs> yeah, good and no, but the funny thing was that it was so huge and he wasn't interested in having sex. He was about the tongue. Oh, so I was stuff. wondering if he yeah, knew that, that it was. Could I say he's not about the way he faced it? Yes, he's, mm -hmm. he was more interested to face it. Yeah. And I was like, that's so strange. Why you have such a big thing and you're not, you know, flaunting it? And he, I think he knows that he's not good at it. Because when we eventually went to that stage, it never made no sense. Like he was not a good love maker. Or him just never. Him look, him just get what he don't get. So it's just big that was huge food. in my opinion, but the, the, the measurement of Una tell me it never that big, but uh, it probably was an eight or so. Well, like eight is big because six is average. Average. Mm -hmm. That's right. big. So he, it was big, but he ne mm -hmm. him never big and not couldn't hot. do nothing. It's a sweet pepper. You know you can bite a sweet pepper in a feel a pain, <laughs> but if you bite a scotch man <laughs> pepper in a problem. <laughs> yes. What would you say? It's have you ever been put in a position where you're now put to perform at a standard higher than poor what's in your head because they're coming seeing what you have? No, it's never been once I say what it is, they have this expectation. It's, it, 
mm, I've been the victim of like <laughs> victim. rumors. So <clears throat> there is like oh, a Oh, hold on. You have to tell me that. Ah, uh, mm, all right. Um, let's just say woman chat too much. <laughs> Long and short of it, woman chat too much. So does men. Not as much as you think, you know. No man, man love chat to man. Cause one time when me put this spam boy, boy I talk about things. Right. So <laughs> you mean like some me go, you know, with you and then me come tell Pampa to Latanya. No, me go tell my friend. And if you come and you're sh- if you're coming strong, you're a tax. And no man, boy, you're strong man. You can't but do that, com- Pampa. But if you're, you in- set up yourself for the girl mm. interested in him. That's what he's saying. So no, the somebody got tax him. Um, mm-hmm. And then a next person come in. Persons. Let me hear, people. let me hear. Um, if I should really think about like Talking where about it really, oh, sorry. If I should really think about where it started, uh, I would say early you take this. Uh, I was with some friends and drinking and thing happened. One thing, many things led to another. <laughs> and there was a bit of truth out there. Now you know how that go. So there was show everybody what's going on. And that's what happened. Hold on, so somebody dared you to show it? Yeah, and that's what happened there. And I thought everything was good and done and fine. And when we get back to school Mondays, I hearing things that I never know people that was there talking about. And yo, So what, the girls that started Baba. to come at you? Yes. Just because you had a big... Well, it wasn't exactly like that. It was more of... I would li- I like to call it museum life because them come look them look them laugh them leave go about them business that's that's really what it is. So why they look laugh and leave? Wouldn't they look laugh and stay? No, it's look. <laughs> Where are you going that? Go about them business. That's oh, because really it's too big. Or more than they expected. And because you're so tiny. On the outside. No, uh, my mom always said, um, slim man, you know, problem, me not problem. I don't think the size, yeah, what size shoes you wear? Uh, mm, can we, um, 12, 12. You wear size 12 <laughs> shoes? I do. How tall are you? I am 5'11". That's a big foot. I but he says, trumpet to make mm-hmm. no go for him. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> God, <he's so> <laughs> mm. we, well, we're we're really look here in that size 12 shoes. We're going to go to break from the bridge. 99 FM, sex on the bridge. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the bridge 99 FM with me, Dance Hall Queen Carlene, and you're listening to Sex on the Bridge. And in studio with me, next to me is the size 12 foot man. Yeah. VCB, Roy, and of course, my very good friend, Latani Style, and Marlon. All right, welcome, guys. Um, yeah, we're talking about does size matter? You can also WhatsApp me, uh, less than a minute voice note, 876-551-5782, or call 876-776-4996. All right, so we're talking about does size matter? Oh, boy, it's a little bit hot in here. <laughs> Good night, Ryan. <laughs> All right. So is there any like and dislike about, you know, being seen as someone with a biggie? Yes. Tell me first which one. Uh, the dislike. Okay. Um, it feels like everybody knows your business. It feels like everybody's kind of talking about you more than they should. More than one occasion. But hold on, with you, you know, doesn't you cause that on yourself though? No. You pop it out in the middle of s- something where people were. I, I can't be blamed for what I own, and I will chase experiences that I think are interesting. Okay. <laughs> and what are the likes? Uh, the likes, well, would be that I have people that enjoy the pleasure that I deliver, and I do enjoy delivering pleasure. And I want to ask Marlon too what's the dislike and the like about being a big? Be. Um, really and truly like taking the time with the females because that's a big thing for me. You don't want to rip persons apart, you know. And the the, the walls do tear, and especially if you have length and girth. Yeah. So for me, um, with, with a first time with a female, it's probably a little bit of discomfort in regards to saying you know trying to enter, despite the fact if she's lubricated and stuff. Right. So you have persons who are lubricated, but still the vaginal walls are very, you know them lock up so over time as you're with the individual the body will get accustomed and prepared for what's happening and then you just yeah so the dislike is that the first 
first the first um the first time kind of vibes. And then the like is just the whole entire vibes once them vagina wrap around the penis and it just lock it and yeah. Start going all yeah, man, over. The vibes there. Just curious for the listeners, what size are you? <laughs> he he uh, said nine point seven as I'm not I'm not gonna disclose that. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I have my reasons. All right. Yeah, but I, it's I, I'm, but, I'm, I'm but beyond, it's big. I'm beyond the average and. But yeah. it's bigger than eight. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because I don't and want it's to. Thick. Be... It's long and thick. It's not just long. Boy. Yeah. So. so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Latani, do you think it's there's pressure for females to want or like because of society, especially in the dancing world, you know, to want to make sure them get up every. Guy have to have a big, big thing. Yeah, because it's something that is uh, like bragging right in the dance hall space. So every man wants to say that they have this or that. And, you know, most men, when they see certain dancers or certain people that do those physical activities, they think you can handle anything, you know. <laughs> so I think they're under pressure when it comes to that. And the girls want to be make, making sure that they're small too, because then it would be the talk of the town that you're not. So we ourselves have to take, take care of our size. But but if have you ever gotten a girl that your thing is small for her? Yeah, not not my thing is small for her, but she's had bigger. So I guess yeah, she's had bigger. I've had I know I know I've been a young lady that had a man that had 13 inches. So definitely, she's had bigger, you know. So, yeah. Right, but was that shown to you? Did you know that? Was, no. Right. So he, I'm not talking about if she likes bigger or have no, had bigger. If, if she, so, so like you've gone to a girl where you hear man discuss women and say, oh, so and so is huge. Oh, you're asking if I've ever had a, a white you, vagina? Right. No, I've never encountered anything in my life. <laughs> okay. Never. You. Oh, no, no, no. You never, okay. No, never. So then it's not as bad, Latana, or we're hearing them men disrespect women and saying... Yeah, but that's in But have you comments. both been with a lot of different kind of girls, though? Yes. Uh, I've, yes. I've, 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 I've touched bases, yeah. I asked him earlier if he's ever had a one-night stand. Have you ever had a one-night stand? Yes, I have. Where you just see the girl and just go for it, or you wasn't even aware <laughs> of what happened? I wasn't aware that that was going to happen, but it did eventually happen. She didn't come back because, or you didn't take her back because? Uh, no, I was working at the time, and I had just stepped out to do that and came back way after closing time. So it, it was just a one, one night. Yeah, one night. Stand. You just saw her, and she wanted to make love with you? Uh, no, I was standing outside the bar where I was working at the time, and she walked past to get food, I suppose, and about 20 minutes later, she walked past again, and she was... She called out to me, so I was like, hey. She knew you? No, we uh -oh. did not know each other. Oh, okay. And we just started walking and talking, and yeah, I followed her home. And that was it. I could have died, but it was great. All right, I have a call in <laughs> line. <laughs> Welcome to Sex on the Bridge. Good night. Yes, hello. Good evening. Good evening to you, too. Yes. Yes, uh, I'm listening. And uh, we, we really have a fact. Um, you know, the, the size is not so important because as you know as the the panel is, is saying that really for a fact a lot of the large size a lot of the, those guys cannot manage it very well uh, i have had experience um in the past where well you know i am i i wouldn't say well, i'll be around or in and around the average size there Okay, 67. And, uh, and uh, you know, I, I, I met up on a female where she was a bit large. And many, many, after we, we have our thing and everything, and many months afterwards, she called and told me that, you know, you know, my size was not the biggest, but I, I managed it very well. <laughs> so did you enjoy her, although you said she was, what do you mean by she was bigger? <laughs> I'm, like, yeah, I'm just curious, what, what does that mean? She is large. Her size or, or her vagina? Yeah. 
Yes to which one? Her body uh, or her uh, vagina? Her, her vagina. Was large? Yeah. So was that good for you or bad? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk up, brother. Talk up, talk up. Right. Let's see your experience, man. Come on. You have to make good our way up and then, you know, if you can't mind it, then you move on, you know. So did you but, sleep but, with her again after that? It, it never lasts very long. Um, the, the relationship did not last very, very long. Because of size? I, I wouldn't say exactly because of size, but other uh, other reasons why it didn't really work out too well. All right. Thank you so much for listening, yeah, and please continue to listen, all right? all right? Sex on the Bridge with me, Dance All Queen Carlene, and my panel is in here. All right, so he called in. You heard what he said, right? Yes. He's above average or in between. Yeah. So he's can he could, should could be anywhere from six to seven or even eight. Mm -hmm. And he said he book up on a big one. Mm -hmm. But he said the girl said he handled it. Yeah, it's like Shabbat say, you book up in a puna and you swallow. You stand up and work, my friend. I'm going like a coward. You stand up and work. So, so you stand up and work. that size doesn't matter. It matters because when you enter somebody and for the first time and you look on their face, you see something full of them inside, it's a different vibe. It matters. It definitely matters. No, no, no. Not for the man, no. For oh. the woman. For the female, too. Yeah. The I believe because once... It's like, for instance, right? Let's say, for instance, um, you're, you're accustomed to the width of this right here, so. Mm -hmm. And then you book up on a width... Like this. Mm -hmm. This width entering inside of you is completely different from this, especially when you're moist. Mm -hmm. So this is going to allow your vagina to be wrapped around it versus being loose around this. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So this right here is taking its time going inside of you inch by inch. That means you're feeling it. But that, that, that could also do the same. No, man. What I'm trying to say to you is a different girth. Okay. So your vagina locks around this more than this because it's a slimmer no, than this. No, you assume. No. You I, I finger females and I feel what I felt. But Carlene, the thing is, everybody is so concerned about length. And yeah, he width. brought the major point in it's all of width. this is the width. Because yeah, you have some better. long mag or something where it <laughs> don't make no sense. You understand? So the width is definitely vital, the width is very the width vital. Is vital. So that means it could be three inches this way and three inches that way. It's better three inches that way. I'm not going to say it's better, but it's stimulate the G spot right away. Because once you enter with a particular width, you right away touch the G spot. Exactly. So it shouldn't be that one, two, three, four. As she says, the width is more important for her. Right for her. Yeah, there's different, different, different females. That's what I'm saying birth. to you. So a female who might think this is great. Yeah. And you come with this. Not the length, the width. No, it doesn't matter. Width, size, length. No, man, the width matters. That's what I'm trying to say to you. So if I come with this length right here, so, mm -hmm. right? And this skinny. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're going to get the depth. But if I come with this length, which is shorter than this and this thick, it's going to be fooling her up right through. And I'm saying to you, mm -hmm. this length or this width, it depends on how he's going to use it. Okay. Because as the doctor explained, sure. it's just as you go in that the G-spot is right there. Granted, but certain females, mm -hmm. based on our females only couple one finger inside. Our females only couple three fingers inside. But is, is, isn't that what she prefers, though? What it, no, man, it's, it's, her, it's her vagina, the walls right. of her vagina. I'm going to take another yeah. call. Good night. Welcome to Sex on the Bridge. Good night. Good night. First time on this show. Thank you. We started last week. I think you're my third caller. Hello. Yes, I'm hearing you. Yeah, first time on the show. Thank Why you. Thank you so much and welcome to Sex on the Bridge. Oh, oh. So today I listen to the panel, the man, Pampute. Big of yourself, Pampute. She just left. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, well me no, you know, say, me no really buck up on like that, me, any lady like that. Me just, one time, me, just, me will go on a club one time. Hello? Yeah, we're listening, we're listening. Mm -hmm. I'm letting one you talk. We go to a club one time and me did I do my thing and the lady say, my size is too big, so we see end up a little boy. Uh, and she say, it can't work, so me end up a little end up a little leave. Because she say, it's too big and so, so me have to leave, you understand? Okay. So. So what happened when you get the ones that's okay with it? Well, she's, they always say, all right, and so uh, all right, still. Yeah. But two minutes really, me, I'm calling from Lindsay, Lindsay. 
So do you get a lot of attention because of the size? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> so the girls, the girls come after you. Have you ever had a one night stand or a girl who slept with you one night and said, this is it, I'm not sleeping back with you? No, no, sir. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. All right. Thank you. What's your name? Robert Sawyer from Lindsay. Thank you. Big go, up Robert. Go ahead, oh, Robert. Oh, the, 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 the caller, the, the, oh, the lady, the, the caller, one of the lady inside it. The, the, the lady, or lady inside. Oh, Latanya. Yes, she was talking about the size of, you know, really much. I was like, I'm pleased the lady, I see it. Right. She said, no, she says she's never gotten what we're talking about, but she met up on one that wasn't that big, but was big and it had no use. Okay. <laughs> Well, tell her, 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 tell just tell her, tell her, tell her, Five zero one fifteen twenty two. All right, All right. Thank, thank you, you, Robert. And you'll be seeing us in in Linstead soon for the Shibata play man problem. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> right. you know, I think she No, <laughs> you're too she big. <laughs> Somebody else might though who who, who just heard the, the. Well, if anybody out there who can't call, he's the best friend from here. Me brother, advertise the product. If anybody out there can call five zero one fifteen thirty two. Same sir. All right, thank you so much, sir. You you heard in his youth because he has <laughs> met up on the woman and she says she's not taking mm -hmm. that. Not at all. And you both have experienced that. Yes. And I have a question for them, though. Like, yes. <laughs> in my opinion, the bigger ones are more promiscuous. Meaning? Meaning, mm -hmm. because they know it big, they have the most women. Not necessarily. And the smaller ones, they're more humble. Well, it all boils down to moral and ethics, point yeah, blank. and charisma. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, well in, in certain space, especially dance hall, so if a guy, because as you guys said before, women talk. Mm -hmm. So the word will get her on, but that don't mean that little one won't get busy. Mm, we'll get busy, my own true man. Yeah. And <laughs> That's then, true. And then you'll hear the different gossip like, watch, watch him and him something. Yeah. While you'll hear, oh, no, no, no. And you'll see the difference. You'll see the girls going to the ones that is said to be huge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the ones that are huge, like they approach women more. Sometimes you see some guys and them just really humble and them don't really have a bag of woman and them are not the girlies type. You just know so them thing probably not that big and them Oh no, 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 no that's are, a myth. No, that's no a, a myth. lot of times I've noticed that. I've noticed men that I see that are not run up and down. And when I've when you hear about it, it's because them thing not that big. Mm, mm. No, I can't agree. Well, I guess it def it depends where you are. In the dance hall space. Yeah. I know of men in the dance hall <laughs> space that should not even be in the dance hall space. And I've heard the stories, and, and they have a lot of women. And the women talk, but sometimes they have money, Latanian, so okay, it well, doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, and they're busy. They look every girl, and you're like, who is he? You know? That's true, too. So that's, you know, it has its, its space, and then you hear the one, no bother with him because. And also, guys, sometimes when it's that big, and then it spread. No, I'm rough. <laughs> That's the biggest nightmare because if it's small or below average and he's rough, you can probably tolerate it mm -hmm. and it might feel, you know, like good. But when you're like over the seven, eight. What do you like? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, let me. I'm curious. Based on, based on what you're talking, I'm very curious. What do you like? Mm -hmm. I'm very curious. Um, Enlighten me, please. I like to be um, made love to. Yeah. And reversed. Understood. So I'm not really a penetration girl. Yeah. But I will want that eventually. Understood. Um, I do prefer if it's not too, too big. Mm -hmm. Like, I have a big partner, which I wish he had a smaller, so I could have it three, four times yeah. like he would want. Not to say he doesn't know what to do, because that's yeah, a plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he knows what to do, I can enjoy it. And engage himself, not yes, damage no, yeah. no, he knows the depths of me. Mm. I know that I have a low, low womb. Yeah. So he knows he has to be gentle and, 
you know, not give me the whole of it. So you're mental before physical? Very much yeah. so. I, I, I'm not attracted to big, small, or medium. I'm attracted to the mind. Yes. And then I'm attracted to how you're going to treat me. And then I want to speak to you. How are you going to make love to me? Yeah, I'm not the girl that one, two, three, thank you. I figured that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take it from my head to my toes. Understood. And vice versa. Love that. And Thank that's you. exactly how I am. But that's like the just, vibes though. Just spoke it exactly how I would have described what it. What I've realized in our culture, we're not intimate. We're not. We're not. Yes. We just, we just bang, bang, bang. We're not upon the intimacy of Instant kissing, caressing, make sure the person pleasing your partner. We're not about that life. We're really about just... No, some no. people, some people. Yes, yeah, some. Because there's real, real... Me- and I'm not going to say our culture. It. Our culture pushes it when it's public. Mm-hmm. So a lot of men will come over oh, 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 and behind the closed it's doors, it's nothing story. like that. Understood. While True. I have I, I found out that men who live abroad are the better lovers mm-hmm. than the men in Because they're more open-minded. They're, they're, yeah. I think because they've had women explain to them, Latana, you can join in to say yes or no. Because they have women overseas who are vocal and they will say what they want mm-hmm. and they're accustomed to it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Many here, they, they reach a climax, it's a wrap. No, I mean, I'm, men I'm, here I'm, in Jamaica, especially some men. Let's not say all some. Especially in the dance hall space, they have this thing about like not kissing. It it doesn't make you macho, or you don't kiss a girl because you don't know where her her mouth was. Like they have some weird stuff, and it's really annoying. But the bodies. same thing would apply yeah. to me as a man. You don't know where my mouth has been. Yeah, but I'm telling you why these no, men. No, but the women are don't stand kissers. out of it. What she's saying, the men stand out on it to say, yes, well, they're very oh, you've been. You've been, you've been. So it's a bragging right to say you're not know, kiss woman. That's, that's yeah, stupid. Yeah, I'm telling you. That's and I'm a kisser, man. so that's it turned me stupid. off big time. That's and, and, and Latane, would you go with a man if he says that? <sighs> First of all, my criteria requires that. Right, but so I actually tried one that doesn't, and I eventually got him to do it like after a year, mm. which was oh, so you weird. put up with that. <laughs> and never really put up with it. <laughs> no, honestly, I was just like, let me try something different and see what is behind this reason for not doing it. And he never really had a valid reason. It's, it's not it's, like it's as you said before, brother, because he's been with girls that goes down on you know guys and him. I don't know. No, I just think in the space is like man no kiss woman and it, I don't know if he's gonna get yeah, too attached or stuff. in love or yeah. emotional and that's, him trying to that's, hold that's back. Guard, yeah. Yeah. So wow. I don't know what it is, but I I just tried it just to see what and if I could cope and I I didn't enjoy the entire year because Channel. of that. And, and I literally was going to leave him. I don't know if you all saw the that. movie Pretty Woman, and that's yes. usually with prostitution. Mm-hmm. You're not going to, it's a touch when you have the saliva mixing up. So you're, 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 you're paying for, 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 for sex. So you don't want to get yeah. into emotional. Yes. So mm-hmm. probably, I don't know. Um, how they they come at you, though? Really? Wait, what exactly are you asking? So <laughs> the girl sees, and remember, your thing spreading around. The, the, the <laughs> You know, how do they come at you? Does outright I want to see your penis? It, mm, it would really depend on how they came about that information. Um, Speaking of I mind. can use a, a very recent example. I really hope that person's not listening right now. Um, well, you could call her name and then that would make would it weird. <laughs> no. so. Bring the mic up to your mouth. Oh, yeah, sorry. Like, yeah. But, right. <laughs> Um, yeah, so recently I, I met a young lady through some friends and uh, it, it, it really did really just spill all the beans to her and she messaged me one way to be like, hey, is there any truth to this? And I was like, I really can't say if, if, if it is or it's not. That's really up to your personal judgment. You could have, you could have seen something else. And she was very insistent. She's like, no, mom, but if everybody's saying this, then there must be some truth to it. And I was like, everybody can lie. True. So, so therefore, you know, did sh- did sh- you prove her wrong or right? Oh, um, I just, I wouldn't say I proved her wrong or right. I just made sure that she was satisfied before she went home. Hmm. So you ever been with a girl, any one of you, and the girl come and said, "Please, him not all that." You hear that back? Have you ever? She, remember, she could be, 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 you know, just being malicious. Not that it's factual or truth. Have have that ever reached any of you? Mm, no, me personally, no. 
I don't think so. I don't think that information has come Just back to me. Just more along the lines of I'm an asshole because I'm going to get back with them again afterwards. Mm, probably. Just I feel like I could have done sure. better, but I don't think that in- somebody has brought that information back to me. Marlon, so it's this thing that I've seen, the male dancers, yeah. the, like the strippers, and everybody seems to have... So- Is it something they're putting in their thing? No, 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 no. I'm on, I can't vote for everybody. No. But primarily as a black Jamaican man... Well, I have, a, I have a company. I have a male exotic company, right? Right, right. And based on my company, um, the man, no man, I'm a drug everything, man. Okay, so is it <laughs> so required you for you to state, if let's say, what's the application? Does it say, if you're three inches, please no, don't no. come? Let me tell you honestly what the application is. You graduate high school, you conduct yourself as a man, you can entertain a woman with confidence, and that is it. The other part just come in handy. At the, the end of the day, is seduction. So it's not required for them to have a big. Them just end up having it. I think mm-hmm. is you think that's the reason why they would want to do that though because you know that's. So I can speak for myself. That wasn't my reason. What was your? My reason, reason was because I traveled overseas and I went to Vegas and I saw a line with ladies lining up for this big billboard of men and I'm like, okay, why isn't this in the Caribbean? So I started my research, ventured into it, and I launched a company in it. That's pretty much it. And um, so, I happen to have a. a uh, a member, a nice size, you know? Right, because a couple of what I've seen, I've not seen a small one. So I was wondering yeah. if they put something in there. Well, here's the reason why you can't put something in there. The Jamaican woman, the woman in general, them <laughs> want grab. So when them grab and that come off, you're embarrassed. Sure. So you can't put nothing in there. You can't chop. You can't <laughs> suck up your thing, man. And they're very ag- Females are more aggressive than men. All right, I'm going to welcome back Dr. Kirk Jones back to the conversation. I have a question for the doc. Please (laughs) don't mind. (laughs) Yes, go ahead. Um, Question, even as a mom of a boy, um, does circumcision affect size? Well, is it something that that people brag about, (laughs) like if they're circumcised or not? That's just one thing I always wanted to find out. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I can't exactly say if it is that, you know, there's a social, um, what I should say, like a stigma attached to um, circumcised um, penises or not. But I know that the foreskin, for sure, it does add to somewhat like of girth or, or width. But it doesn't take away from your size overall, right? It doesn't. Um, for In fact, I think it may be even a bit more sensual for the male, actually. Oh, you know, okay. but I don't. I, it doesn't take it. Do, it doesn't take away though from the what I should say the overall length. Probably just the width or the girth, right? So, do you recommend or don't recommend circums being circumcised? No, if I were, if if I am to recommend circumcision, it would have to be a medical reason. If you get what I'm saying, not just for um a sexual purpose no like right? for instance they do this for babies right and i right right they're always so, telling the mother to circumcise the baby yes and it's, especially in america they're like do it do it do it and then you don't have no choice like and then you go to jamaica right. and the people in jamaica are like no you shouldn't do it you shouldn't make him <laughs> so right you know what, what you yeah do? so it, it goes back as i said to a societal thing because really and truly um if we really and truly we normally promote circumcision um, for children, especially young males, because of the risk of getting an infection, okay. getting infection and the likeness of being able to keep it clean and all those things when they're younger, okay. right? So we normally promote it at that age for sure. Um, and I mean, if you want, you know, for further like consultation, if you want to talk about um, what, whether we're circumcised or not, they can always reach out to my company, you know, <laughs> a young medical company. We do mobile medicine, comfy home medical services. Um, however, we don't want to stray from the point, though. The point I'm making is that circumcision is mostly done on a medical basis, not really for sexual purposes. And when you find a male doing it when they get older, it's probably because him having recurrent infections or him probably getting a lot of swellings at their head, so they just say, here. Or tearing. Probably, yeah, or even tearing. Because I have male friends who say to me, boy, doc, what do you think? You think we can just sort it out now and done? And I say, here, well, speak to your urologist. You may need to sort it out and get it over with, you know? But that's how it is. All right. I'm going to take a break. But when I come back, I do have a question from, a question from WhatsApp. We're taking a break from Sex on the Bridge. We'll be right back. Yes, there's my friend Pam Pate. Welcome back to Sex on the Bridge. And you're listening to Bridge 99 FM. And you can WhatsApp me. 876-551-5782 or call in 
676-4996. I was, we were talking to Dr. Jones. Um, Dr. Jones, I have a text message from one of my call, um, um, WhatsApp message. What type of food keeps your penis healthy? Oh, very so, important. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good question, actually. Like so when you, when you talk about your penis being healthy, you want to talk about in terms of sexual performance, in terms of um, being able to maintain an erection, right? Um, so we normally promote certain vitamins and minerals, like a zinc and magnesium, um, foods that are rich in those um, what what minerals. what type of food are those? Just, just for the you know the common person to understand who don't take vitamins. What what foods have those things? If you know, right? I mean, so I always recommend that they can try things like beetroot. They can try uh, mostly like uh, your green leafy vegetables. Uh, those type of meals tend to have uh, rich in those type of minerals. They do help very well with sexual performance and maintaining an erection. As a matter of fact, as I said before. You know, you can always speak with a dietitian for even further in-detailed, intricate planning. So even with our company, Comfort Medical Services, as I mentioned, they are we are very well equipped with um, dietitians on board. They can call in, book us. And if it is that you even have a concern about maintaining an erection or doing well sexually, they can reach out to us and we can guide you as needs be. Another question. Um, do you have or should they or shouldn't they use stimulants like um viagra blue pill blue pill <laughs> so, so 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 let me tell you um really and truly there are gentlemen who have issues genuine issues in terms of getting an erection and maintaining themselves properly um but these are normally for your elderly folks and we normally go to these medications when it is that we've tried all the conservative methods like the psychological training you know, therapy and all these things, one-on-one -on -one counseling with the, with, the, with, the, with the partner sometimes, because sometimes even the partner can be the fault, you know, just saying. But okay. really and truly, we normally go to the medical therapy as second-hand nature, second-hand, right? So, yeah, you have your blue pills, your Viagra and so forth. We do prescribe and offer them to patients, but that is after we've gone, we've exercised all the non-medical um, options. So you, I hope my listener, my, my messenger is listening. All right. And so, but do you rec recommend anything prescribed? No, over the counter, like they have, um, um black stallion, black stallion. No, no, no. Like they have, no, um, Spanish fly and those things. No, I, I wouldn't as a medical practitioner. No, I, I, I would definitely, I would not definitely say to a patient, Hey, try black stallion or, or what, whatever they call it roots well black stallion kind of is an LT drink so it's really an LT drink yeah, right but i would i wouldn't necessarily but promote spanish fly I, I wouldn't necessarily promote spanish fly i wouldn't necessarily promote a specific drink per se <laughs> right what i'd say to the patient is is that if you really need a, like help help per se just come and talk to a doctor First, you know, and then we see if we can do the training and so forth. But I wouldn't necessarily promote something over the counter. Sometimes these things have adverse reactions. You know, both mm -hmm. guys that die with all the kind of heart attack. Um, they, they have heart attack. They have underlying heart issues, and they try things on their own, and it only leads to their own demise. So, what would you recommend for somebody who's having sexual um, issues? Sexual like, issues. Yeah, like erection, erection in the penis. Right. So, as I was saying, you know. And they're Speak embarrassed to, to go to the doctor. What would you say? Go to the doctor, full stop? Of course, go to the doctor. Or you can always get psychological training, find someone that you trust. Because first time, sometimes you can speak with even, yeah, most of us go to church. Most of us have a pastor. Most of us have someone that we can trust, we can talk to, we can bring our concerns to. You know, because as I said, most times it's really and truly just something psychological that needs to be sorted out. You need therapy. If not, Let's say that, as I mentioned before, you have like sugar. The Jamaicans love to talk about sugar, diabetes, mm -hmm. right? But you don't know, and you literally have an issue with getting an erection because diabetes, that's a complication of diabetes or sugar, right? So I wouldn't tell you to go to the pharmacy and say, hey, are over the counter, give me this or give me that. When truth and in fact, you have sugar and it needs to be treated or managed properly. Okay. Right? And, and yeah. let the listeners know that the diabetes, the sugar, can make you have erectile, erectile dysfunction. dysfunction yeah. Definitely, for sure, it can. Right. When it's, uncontrolled, that's it's sometimes right. That like somebody don't know they have. Isn't that sometimes the first sign though, where they're having dysfunction uh, in the in the penis? Not necessarily. What you'd find is that over a period of you know trials, 
here and there, you know, you continue to try, but you're not getting that desired effect you want. But there are other signs for sugar that come up first. You understand? Right. But for a Jamaican man, you know, sex is everything to us. So you've been trying, trying, trying for a long period of time, and you realize that, boy, something is not right here. That's when they start saying, boy, let me see the doctor. You another know, another when, text yeah. message is asking, what can I do to not come so quickly? Meaning, <laughs> he says, before entering, he ejaculates. Oh, so that's something called premature ejaculation, right? Um, something of this sort, as I said, whether you last too long or you really and truly just don't last enough or last long enough, we always talk about therapy. I keep on saying it. It's all psychological. It's all in the mind. And we can start with there first. You start with there first and afterwards we just go on to doing um, other medical um, interventions if so be the case. Another question is, should you use any and everything on your penis, meaning to... Um, masturbate or help to get it erected like lotion you know there are i mean my um kind sir here he was telling us about um he has a, 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 a exotic store as well you, you do right so i don't know if you guys um sell like they i know they have these um numbing medications that they use in the form of lotions and gels that they use um most times some people um, mention that they get results some don't Okay. Um, it only really actually just gives you a better chance at not getting that much stimulation per se. You understand? So as a result, you know, you think you last longer. Um, at the end of the day, what I'd say is, yes, if you think it helps, you can try it. I'm not the, I'm not the one or the doctor to, type, to bash people's attempts because something they, they try their personal things and it helped them. But, is it, is know, it abnormal for you to not have an erection in the morning, the first thing in the morning when you wake up? No, that, that's, that's not abnormal. So it, it happens can... in a lot of men. It's quite frequent, but it's not abnormal if you get up one morning and don't have an erection. I, I agree. It's, no. not, it's yeah. not irregular. That happens not... more than yeah. enough. Yeah. 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 yeah, I I know of you know people from there who it takes them <laughs> up firstly. But um, is it that because you want to go to the bathroom? Is it that's the reason? I mean... For, for me, based on understanding, it's just the body is well rested. And yeah, going to the restroom as well, too, but it's just a healthy blood flow. My heart is healthy, my, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I eat healthy. I eat very healthy. In regards to another thing that I would recommend from a holistic standpoint would be um, when it comes to fruits and food, um, mm -hmm. it will be watermelon, peach, pineapple. These things help with your, blood, your red, blood, red blood cell count. And Doc, what do you think about um, also giving blood, men giving blood, at least twice a year to rebuild the red blood count so it can allow oxygen and the blood flow to circulate mm -hmm. better when it comes to boosting the libido, you know? Do you... Give, do you... Giving blood per se? No, I... Well, I don't know. I just somebody, you know, another doctor say, hey, you should give... You should rebuild the red blood count because, you know, women, because they're not the menstrual, we don't give blood. We intake a lot of stuff. So sometimes... The blood is too thick of something of that nature. So that's what I'm asking. What is your feedback on that for a man to give blood? To no, help no. the libido? Gi giving, blood, giving blood per se, no. N not in that context. Okay. Well, I mean, not in that context per se. Well, I mean, for a man, really and truly, as you mentioned, it's not really about um the blood, blood cells per se, but it's about the blood flow. Getting yeah, the blood to yeah. the area. Circulation per se. Yeah. So not necessarily the blood composition, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I get what you're you saying. Know? Yeah, right. I was right. just asking so, the question. Okay. Yeah. And there so, is so, a... so, Go wait, ahead. Wait, no, go ahead. So, so so when it comes down to blood flow, you talk about your dynamics. So you want to be exercising, you know, you want to be fit, healthy, pumping heart. As you mentioned, you said in the mornings. You know, you know, you have good flow, so you, you get an early erection. Boost but as I said, most times level, it's yeah. not irregular to have, you know, wake up one morning and not have an erection. It's not irregular. Mm -hmm. Let's say a man is having sex. He didn't take anything, don't drink, don't smoke, and he's feeling weird. Should he stop? What do you mean? Feeling weird? How? <laughs> Probably like his heart, you know, because sometimes it's, you know, when you guys having a, that excitement and it, is there too far, too far to go? Meaning, you know, if I'm to be honest with you, I've spoken with patients before, you know, they come to see us at Comfy and even sometimes we go to speak to patients about that um, and they'll express and say, boy, doc, I'm so used to my routine, you know, drinking, smoking, drinking, smoking. Um, and it's like the one time I don't do it, I feel like I'm not up to scratch. Um, there is actually research that says, you know, that 
men that smoking and drinking it gives a false perception of time you know and it gives a false perception that? of perform performance okay so <laughs> so what they're saying is that sometimes when you drink you know the guys say them have power up so them drink up them they mix up them them liquor them white rum and them heart all kind of things and lick up and when they done them them smoke up and all kind of stuff they said that sometimes what it does it gives you a false perception of how long it actually lasts no you know? what i was asking was the person don't drink don't smoke but when he is having an orgasm or about to it's as if mm -hmm. he's gonna have a heart attack well, that that sounds that feeling. No, it's a me. feeling. It's a feeling. Yeah. Is it just that, a feeling, or well, should they have it medically checked? Yeah. What I'd say. Have to you ever like, felt that? Go. No, that sounds like a. No, regular. no, that sounds very <laughs> irregular. You know? What I'd say to that patient is go go to a doctor and get it started or get it checked out. Yes. And get it checked out, right? Yeah, that might be like a heart condition, like a yeah. doctor or something. Right. Oh. Yeah. Go go get get it checked out for sure. Yeah. All right, on checking it out, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back on Sex on the Bridge. <laughs> on Tape Major, welcome back to The Bridge 99 FM and you're listening to Dance All Queen Carlene on Sex on the Bridge. To call in, 876-551-5782, that's to send a voice note, or to call in, 876-676-4996. All right. <sighs> that song <laughs> guys is it both of you or either either is it a place a pressure for you to always perform because of the size good meaning you know the girl expects that yeah it's good from she see that she must expectation yes pleasure um pressure no it, it once you see it you know what's coming but there's never you know you have this you, you how you don't know how to, there, there's no that kind of so you're just good yeah man i'm fine <laughs> that's that's vcb marlon <laughs> well for me there's there's pressure on the female in regards to i know what i'm bringing how she's going to get me a rose as well oh it's not always about me going towards her but that's why again i'm just back to chemistry once we're flowing, sync, kissing, loving, just, yeah, my love passion. Straight. And Latane, have, have you ever been put in a position where the pressure is on you to get it up? Um, yes. Well, the pressure is, first of all, she's a dancer, so she must can handle it, and that's like a very bad, con um, <laughs> that's a very bad, <laughs> like, concept. Them like, see, I didn't split them, them see, we are wind up ourselves and say, whoa, <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, we can do it without something there. Trouble, <laughs> <laughs> We can do it to the ear, but not when something in it. But, um, the expectation, like, in terms of if I can get it up and all of that, mm -hmm. easy cheesy. And the, the, the <laughs> orgasm quick, like literally every male that I've been around is a fast one. I don't know why. It's not because you're hot. Long marathon. Because you're thing. hot. Probably because you're hot, you know, or you I, know what you're doing. And I like it. I like when them right away, but I know the long hours. Yes. Have time for yes. That. Let's go again if that's the case. This is not <laughs> yeah, a. Yeah, do it and then we'll I want to. You see, 9.5. Yes. Well, yes, sir. Yes. I, I do. Marathon. This is something totally different that I'm hearing. This is, <laughs> this is not what I'm accustomed to, ladies. Yes. I'm hearing I, others. This is why I kept asking no, about the No, seriously, I don't this. hear this. Yes. No. Man want to man no. Not at no. all. Stir I think, no. I think, I think because sometimes they don't have an orgasm. No, after the third one, my brain freeze literally. Boring. I start taking, yes. I don't even know what I'm saying. So sometimes, and then, you know, you get tender there. And so it's like, yes. please don't this, don't yes, this. Yes, hurry up, please, quick and fast. Yeah. Remember, you know, we, <laughs> most women do prefer love making than the actual penetration of, of a penis. Exactly. That's the last part of it. No, let's just get that over the final touch of the race. You're the last leg of the, 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 the relay the last and leg. you move on. Yeah. All right. I have a question so you can win a toy from Fetish. What's the address for fetish secret? Mm -hmm. You can get something to fetish you up. Mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. first caller or sending the voice note, what's the address for fetish secret? It's the store that sells all the time. I spoke of it two times tonight. Mm -hmm. I said the address. Guys, you can get a tie for your girl, too, man. Nobody yeah. Be, yeah, you don't <clears> have to be yeah, women don't be, Yeah, you can get one of these for your girl, man. Trust me. It, it's beneficial. Right, we'll wait to see if anybody calling. But tell me what's next for you, Marlon. 
Ah, oh, great things, great things, great things. In regards to... And if they want to find you, how can they? Yeah, man. In regards to the company, um, we're relaunching, coming next year. Like, we're literally going out there on a mainstream platform, recruiting new guys, new theme, new events, all kind of stuff. And it's Divine Men of Choice. It's D-M-O-C-J-A. So for all the ladies who have divorce parties, getting over your man, um, need massages. Divorce parties. Um, yeah, man, straight up. Divorce parties. Divorce. A lot of that yeah, is man. keeping. Um, getting over your man again. Um... <laughs> College graduate, you know, 21 and over, definitely. We cater to those services. So if you need a male at a dancer for your girls, them, just a girls' night out, book us. We've got you. It's D M O C J A. And you can also contact 876 599 3637. Again, D M O C J A. Just go and follow the page. You'll see everything on it. And I promise you, we will cater to your every needs in divine style. <laughs> All right, Latanya, what's next for you? You know, we know, I know what's in this <laughs> all right here well n next and always i offer dance classes private lessons or even for, for this context the woman that wants to know how to like pump it say ride it or yes. wine it or <laughs> i can help you to do that have online classes so if you're not in jamaica then you can always join one of my female dance hall classes we teach you all the tricks and the trade to master it in the bedroom so that's in the context of of this show tonight right. but quickly before he said um buy it and use it on your woman that that i mean buy it for your woman like it it wouldn't that's a turn off for me if a man come into the the room to try to do it with that her no it is yes, for me, to, off? For me. Yes, if you don't speak to her about it okay. yeah, yeah i would be like discuss what? it if yeah, you buy it for this? me fine but i think this is more for my personal Quiet time when um, I don't have time you. alone. When yeah. Especially when I want a man is away. Yeah, I don't All want right, a man stop, there stop, with stop, a toy. Stick up in, stick up in, stick up in. Let me share some with you, sweet. Mm -hmm. Is it stimulating the G spot in the clit at the same time? Mm -hmm. Finger. Penis inside? No, stop. Listen. Mm -hmm. Head of the penis. <laughs> the width of it. Engaging that G spot with a steady thrusting motion and the tie on the clit. No, I promise I you. This, mm. the mm. As I said, if you know. speak about it, then I'm not surprised. I guess it would be okay, but you just come well, with this. I guess you have to know your partner. Exactly. Okay. Because, and then right. you can, because, right. yeah. Because if she doesn't like it and you come with it, it as she's saying it, you have to know the person. Yeah. When you know the person, then you take it from Members there. Members, Pampati said, no, nah, go without it. Mm -hmm. So you just have to know, <laughs> know your, your partner. partner. Big time. And for she you, she's not go without it, but not with the man there. No, with the man with there. With the man there. Oh, okay. yes, yeah, with okay. the man there. Okay. You, what's next for you? Um, bed. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Bed. I love that. But, oh, Latanya, how can they get in touch with you? You did yeah. this Okay, Latanya Style on all platforms. All right. L A T O N Y A S T Y L E. I have a winner. I have a winner. Nice. Very good. Jody from St. Catherine. Wow. Ooh, what did Go she Jody. what did she say? What did 1911 Phoenix Avenue. All right. Well, Big up fetish. So, hey. um Jody, you're going to go with your ID. You'll give my producer um name and number and you can go to Fetish 9211 um Phoenix Avenue and pick up your winner winnings. All right? But um yes. Uh, Doc? Hey. Yes. Last, last, any message, you know, how can we get in touch with you? It's the end of the sure. show. We're coming to the end of the show. Great, great, great. So I'm from Comfy Home Medical Services, and what we're really about is we bring healthcare solutions to the comfort of our patients' homes. So it's really about bringing healthcare to you, making, making medicine a bit more affordable, you know, a bit more approachable, you know, accessible as well. Um, so we offer home medical consultations, home physiotherapy, we do dietary consultations, minor surgical procedures, all of those can be done from the comfort of your home. So, I mean, you can reach out to us on IG, Instagram at Comfy Medical, as well as you can contact us, you can WhatsApp us, or you can call us at 209-7815. All right. All right. And I want to so thank you so much for being a part of my show tonight, Sex on the Bridge, and I hope you'll come back. It was great. Thanks much, guys. Um, any last tip from the guys and then the girl hmm. on the big, big issue? <laughs> I have a tip. Um, yes. Speak your mind. <laughs> don't have something going on with the relationship and you don't tell them what you want, tell them what you like, Most tell them definitely. where you like to be touched if you want to be caressed or whatever. Speak to your partner. Definitely. I think that will definitely help. And if them size small, you tell them, say, boy, I have to put a little more action somewhere else, you know, stuff like that. 
gentlemen communicate with a woman. It's not a cut and paste vibes. Don't assume that every woman it like should be treated the same way. True. You never that know if she behind her neck is what gets her up, behind her knee. Just ask her, hey, what do you like? Take mm-hmm. the time out and do that. Yeah, man, definitely. And women, please stop pretending that you you're enjoying it. <laughs> please stop pretending. We'll have a pretense of them. No, it's no. it's robbing no. both partners. No. It's yes. robbing you of the feeling yes. and the man of thinking he's having everything good. And I think that's why most women cheat because they're incomplete. Mm, exactly. The rhyme, no man. They cheat because they're incomplete. Yes. Oh that wow. One, man. I like that one, no I'm man. telling you, it's <laughs> so she will come and you, as you say, you know, if you don't speak to her or you know, figure it out. Mm-hmm. Listen, you can yeah. find ways. And to men know too, tell the woman who you like to yes. because we like certain things as well. It's not a one way street, it's a two way street. Yes, it is. Yeah, man, definitely. definitely. So you know, we can move on and and know that you know this is what it is because sex is supposed to be a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. Mutual experience. And it cannot be on one side. It's a two-way street, man. Yeah, because 99% the man will have an orgasm. The woman will pretend to the have an orgasm. The man will come. Same difference. No, it's lose. not. Okay, no. okay. The man will come and yeah. complete his night. It's, it, no. He will lose. That ejaculation It's not an orgasm. Up. No, hold on. That ejaculation <laughs> will go down. Me, I tell you as a man, right. it's not but, an but orgasm, But you though. still, you come, you still will have a relaxation from Got the you. penis. Yes. That woman vagina will be jumping till next week. Understood. Right? Because she faked it or you couldn't let wow, her reach it. Understood. It. Right. So I'm saying please. But I want you to now also know that we also orgasm. Of course. No, men also so come of deeper course. from orgasm. I know this. Uh, we not always orgasm. No. All it, right. That's why I say when always come. All right. Right? So <laughs> ladies, learn your partner, learn each other. And I want to thank all my listeners. I want to thank all my what the man name is again? Robert, Robert. from Linstead. <laughs> yes, big up yourself, Robert. Yeah, two call come for you, Robert. Don't worry. <laughs> They're asking for your number. So I want to thank you. Listen next week, Tuesday, same time, 10 p.m. Mm-hmm. on The Bridge 99 FM for Sex on the Bridge with me, Dance Hall Queen Carlene. I also want to thank my, my hot producer, yeah, Daniela, my technical operator, Kevin Williams, d and all my bridge listeners and newcomers and comers that's here already. So you can also find me on WhatsApp. No, sorry, on Instagram. <laughs> Dance All Queen Carlene on Instagram. And of course, my WhatsApp line every Tuesday night. Uh, oh, yes. And I also want to big up for my hair. Yes. <laughs> Dinah. Dinah. Um, uh, um, Dinah Bell. Yes, for my hair, Cheryl Luxury Doll from my installment. And Cheryl will be having Candyland, the 21st of October Stadium. Yes, guys. Nice. I'll be there. Nice. And of course, she bought a play. Yeah, she bought a play. We'll be in Linstead, the 25th of September. Mm-hmm. Linstead for she bought a play. All right, so let's see you there. And I'll see you here next week, same time. Bye for me. Bye. Good night, everybody.